48 Hours investigates the death of a young boy and how the mother blamed the hospital. The prosecutors say she was secretly poisoning her son with a surprisingly simple ingredient. The mother gave her only interview to correspondent Troy Roberts. Here is a preview of his report. I lost my five-year-old son, and I'm very saddened that I'll never get to watch him grow up. Lacey Spears was a 26-year-old single mother when she lost her son, Garnet. How did your son die? His death certificate says homicide. Much of Garnet Spears' young life was spent seeking medical attention for often unexplained health issues, something Lacey frequently posted about on social media. He was in and out of the hospital for the first nine weeks of his life and afterwards. At 10 weeks old, doctors at a hospital in Alabama found his sodium level to be unusually high, but that was just the beginning. The biggest problem we had was we couldn't get him to eat, so he was losing weight. Garnet had surgery at nine months old to insert a feeding tube. They were hopeful that within time, he wouldn't have so much problems eating. However, Lacey says, Garnet continued to have feeding issues. So she took him to more doctors. Through the years, some doctors had concerns about the cause of Garnet's medical ailments. One noted in a letter obtained by 48 Hours that Lacey might suffer from Munchausen by proxy. Munchausen by proxy is faking illness in someone else and also inducing illness. It's mostly to seek attention. In January 2014, five-year-old Garnet was taken again to a hospital. He was admitted with seizure-like symptoms. Later during that hospital stay, Garnet is in distress, stops breathing, and tests showed an eerily familiar condition, high levels of sodium, which caused his brain to swell. This is my five-year-old son on life support. Two days later, Garnet is officially declared dead. Doctors could not figure out how Garnet's sodium level had gotten so high unless someone had given him salt. Five months after Garnet's death, Lacey Spears was charged with murder. I didn't kill my son. I never poisoned him with salt. Then why is his sodium level so high? You would have to ask the hospital that. Troy Roberts wow. is with us now. It's so hard because it's a mother and a son. Little boy, five years old, so sweet. It's, it's so sweet bizarre also because I don't think any of us would have thought salt could do this. Me either. When I first got this story, I was like, what? I didn't know you could kill someone by giving them toxic levels of sodium. But you can. It, it causes the brain to swell, which leads to death, among other things. Does so Tate, have, a, does yeah. Tate have other evidence against her? Yes, they went to Lacey Spears' apartment and they recovered two feeding bags. And inside the bags, lab results showed that there were toxic levels of sodium, uh, the equivalent of 69 small salt packs that you would get at a fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. If you went to a diner and you got a table shaker of salt, it'd be a little bit more than half of that. And that was recovered uh, from the bags. There, the chain of custody was lost for about uh, a day or so, but uh, that was found in, in the, in the uh, bags. And I asked her, I said, what, how do you explain that? And she goes, I don't know.